Welcome back. The chair of the Wisconsin Elections Commission will certify Wisconsin's election results on Wednesday. New county canvas results show in Wisconsin's U.S. Senate race, Republican Senator Ron Johnson won by 26,718 votes, and Democrat Governor Tony Evers won by 90,239 votes. This past week, an early autopsy from the top two Republicans in the legislature, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss and Senate Majority Leader Devin Lemahue, during an event by our editorial partner, Wisp politics.com. Frankly, the fact that Donald Trump continued this unbelievable vendetta, if you whatever you want to call it, because we would not overturn the election. Um, I got more votes in 2022 than I did in 2018. Right? I mean, so obviously Donald Trump's reach is nowhere near as deep as he believes it is. Right? I think we now see that across the country. The other is the elephant in the room, uh, Donald Trump. There's a reason why Romaine Quinn won the 25th Senate District by 14 points. Um, 14 points. One that was just held for the last 25 years by a Democrat. It was because of Donald Trump. I mean, that's. A, I mean, Romaine Quinn was a great candidate. He was out there working hard. <laughs> but he. I mean. The reason we're doing well in those, and still doing well, and Ron Johnson captured that, that Trump enthusiasm out there, but there's just simply more suburban voters um, in the Wow counties and the Bow counties that there's a percent of Republicans who are so turned off by by Donald Trump. I, I talked to, uh, and this is only anecdotal, but I talked to someone, uh, Ron Johnson, Tony Evers voter, and the only reason why was because Trump endorsed Michaels. I mean, that, that was the only reason why. He's like, I, I, she said, I will never vote for someone who goes to Donald Trump and asks for an endorsement. I just won't do it. And that's the reality that our party has to face. And hopefully we get it right in the next presidential primary. Up next, a decades-long career in the legislature.